sunshine, coming, dripping a sweat, nice hot shower. I had my eggs and bacon today. Oh, I've had a great day. Ah, good. So it's been a nice... Has it been hot? Yeah, fucking roasting. Scorching up here, to be honest. I've got my new pair of trainers. I just bought a couple of new vests. Fucking brilliant. Oh, and I've got two books sent in. Oh, what have you got? And do you know what? I don't know who sent them in, and they both look good books. What? What's the books? One of them is by Anthony Gioti, Out of the Darkness. Right. He was one, one of Scotland's most violent prisoners. Right. But it looks a good book. There's no photos in it, which I don't like because I love photos. Yeah. Uh, the only thing I don't really... Uh, I'm going to read it, but... He found Jesus under his bed, didn't he? Ah, oh, right, okay. One of these Christian geezers. And he's got the bishop doing the uh, introduction for him. Ah, oh, right, so, you know... So, you know, he's probably an handful, probably, you know, but at the end of the day, mate, I think they're fucking weak, them people. Yeah, well, you know how the book's going to end, don't you? Yeah, of course you do, fucking hell. Right, and the other one... I know the geezer who wrote this. Oh, His right. name is James Crosby. Right. And he's, it, back in the 70s, he was an armed robber from Scotland. Right. Very, very clever man. Can fly a plane and all as happens. All oh, right. And I used to be in correspondence with him. And uh, lovely fella. And it's called Peter Ed Porridge. <laughs> Tales from the funny side of Scotland's most notorious prison. That'll be interesting. So I'm going to enjoy this one, mate. Has that got photographs in? No, no photos. No. There's drawings in it, but no photos. I fucking hate books without photos. Yeah, I know. I love a photo, Steve, because, you know, when you're reading a good chapter... Yeah. ...and it mentions something or somebody, you like to turn to the fucking photo page. Ah, you want to flick to them and see who the people are. Yeah, just so you can see who it is, what he's all about, and... When I get a book and there's no photos in it, I feel, hold up, why yeah. have put no photos in? Yeah, no good. But this is more, I think this is more of a, because he's done his, he's already done his autobiography. Yeah, exactly, I so it's a different book. Go school arm robbery was. Yeah, hey, that... Do you want to laugh tomorrow? Yeah, go on. Get the Sunday star. All right, okay, story in there? Yeah, Sunday funny. Right, okay. That's all I'm saying. Alright, I'll keep an eye out for it then. It must be right, a good I've one. I've got hiring a nice little deal with Georgie boy. Oh, good stuff. Next Sunday. Yeah. Right, it's about hiring. A book coming out. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, I've got a grand for her for it. Ah, lovely, mate. Lovely. So, I've, you, as you know, when you do stories, you don't get uh, checks for about three or four weeks. Yeah. So I've, I've asked George politely, drop her a monkey and give her a monkey when you get the check. Ah, nice, mate. Lovely, oh, that, that's mate. That's nice, isn't it? Of course it is. That'll, that'll keep us smiling. And the truth is, Steve, there's not a lot of money in papers now, mate. No, God, gone are the days when you used to get 25 grand for a story and that. But all I can say to you is try and get that book out as quick as you can. Yeah, we will. We will. it's going in the papers about a book coming out and blah, blah, blah. That's the time, you know, it's well, you, the irons up. That's it. Well, you said, I mean, the, the editing's going ahead, the scanning's going ahead. I mean, I'm hoping it's, I'm hoping we're going to have the first draft within the first, like, within a month's time. That's the aim, anyway. Did you get your masterpieces today? No, but they'll be going to the office, I think Richard said, so I'll pick them up Monday. Oh, I'll bet they're there now, mate. Yeah, they, but they, well, they should have arrived. If they didn't arrive yesterday... I don't think they'll arrive till Monday because the, the office isn't open Saturday and Sunday. There's nobody on reception, you know. Anyway, you'll piss yourself tomorrow when you see it. Ah, oh, I'm looking forward to it, mate. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> been out to watch. I've been out to watch Dunstan. Like a, a little funny one, but the next one next week could be a big one for Irene. Ah, brilliant! I'll make sure I get that tomorrow. Then I've been yeah, out. Yeah, you'll laugh, mate. The gym was shut the day, so I had to go out for a walk into Newcastle, like I used to during lockdown, because uh, there's a COVID outbreak at the gym. Somebody must have had an infection or something, so the bloody gym was shut the day. Did you walk over that bridge? Yeah, did the usual, did the old walk along the river and all the way back hey, round. How long's that bridge? Um, well, it's about the Tyne Bridge. It's not, it's not, it's not a long bridge. I mean, it looks like the Sydney Harbour Bridge in Australia. The bit, the Sydney Harbour Bridge. You don't have to pay to go 
over it, surely. No, no, you don't pay to go over it, no. How long has it been there? 1924. Bloody, I bet that took some time to build it, didn't it? King George opened it. Did he? He was the one who opened it, yeah. There's footage of it. There's footage of the actual bridge being opened and that, you know. But it's um, it's the Sydney Harbour Bridge in Australia that was built by the same... Well, it was created by the same architect. And obviously, ah. it's the same, exactly the same design. So um, we, we opened a thing called the Sage Music Venue on the Gateshead side. And that looks like the Sydney Harbour Bridge. So we copied them on that. But what about that fucking old... Newcastle Jail. There must be a museum on it, surely. There's mention of it in in some of the museums locally, but that was where the football ground is. The, you know the Gallagher end at the football ground. Yeah. That's where it was, because that's what the oh, gal because yeah. the gallows, the gallow gate. And they used to have public hangings, you know. That's right. They did. Yeah. There's 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 obviously like for there's not photographs like um artists' impressions of what went on and the crowds were huge. I'll tell you what, the, the mums and dads used to take the kids for a day out to watch the hanging. I know, it's, men, it's a mental story, that, like, isn't it? Absolutely it's mental. insanity. Well, I went to watch Dunstan play today, the local football team. They got absolutely okay. hammered 4-0, but I've managed, tomorrow Newcastle play their very first friendly. We play York City away, but because of COVID, they sold the tickets before... The lockdown had been lifted, so uh, yeah. so basically there's no away fans. But I rang up, I rang up one of my pals who used to play for Newcastle, who's the manager of York, and he's managed to get us a couple of tickets. So I'm going to be the on, I'm going to be the only Newcastle fans in the ground. Fuck it, how many is going there? There's two thousand York, and they'd be me and my mate. Bloody hell! I know that's good, isn't it? That's insanity, mate. What ground? Um, well, they've changed grounds now. It's called the LNER Stadium. So they've they've moved from Boothbury Crescent or whatever it was. So it's a new ground. So it's a new ground for me to go to. But it's, it's only an hour on the train from Newcastle. So I'm going to jump on the train, get myself down there and uh, nice. go at the game. And I've got me tickets for the week after. We'll play Doncaster away the week after on the Friday. How much were the tickets? Tenner. Oh, that's a good day out for mate for a tenner. Oh, of course it is. Jump on the train. You'll be get having on a there. nice steak pie there at all, wouldn't you? Oh yes, mate. It'll be good. I'm looking forward to it. Um, do they do the old pies still? Still do the pies at the football games. There's some. Do they? The, it's funny how some of the best pies are at non-league grounds, though. You know, the Premier League grounds are terrible. But the I've been to Marine in Liverpool. They do a lovely pie. They do pucker pies. The filling's oh, lovely. I love Pucker pie. They're the best ones, Charlie. And you know when you cut into a pucker pie, all the juice runs out. It does, doesn't it? Oh, my God. I tell you, man, the TV's terrible at the minute, Charlie. What do you mean? The, the Saturday night. Used to be some good stuff on on a Saturday night. I Danny Dyer's on in a minute. What's, what's he on, like? BBC One. Oh, right, I haven't watched that. What show does yeah, he do? funny. Get on it. Right, I'll keep an eye on that and I'll have a watch of that. Yeah, then. Danny Dyer. It's, it's a, a ball game, big balls, they drop it for money. All right. I watched a bit of that Void last week. It was rubbish. Who did you watch? ITV, it was called The Void. Oh, uh, it's a no bit like, it was a bit like the Ninja programme, but it, was, uh, it wasn't very good. I've got to be honest with you, though. Saturday night TV shit, isn't it? Well, when you think back to the two Ronnies and Morgan and Wise... Oh, mate, we used to fucking love Benny Hill. There was a great documentary about Ronnie Corbett on this week with, um, it was like the unseen tapes of Ronnie Corbett from like his family days and stuff like that, family holidays, but... He must have had Ronnie Barker on this, surely. Oh, he was. Well, they did a few of the famous sketches like Four Candles and... Um, oh, my classics. Absolutely. Hey, what classic. did you think of Monty Python? I enjoyed that, but I grew, that made that was like one of the very first comedies I, I I watched. You know the old foot coming down and squashing yeah. people and stuff like that. I used to I used to love that, and I used to love um, not the nine o'clock news with Rowan Atkinson and Griffin. Oh James. yeah, yeah, that was really funny. That was yeah. really funny. Uh, Kenny Everett was all the rage when I was young. He was a bit. Weird him though. He was a puff, wasn't he? He was, but he was funny. He was funny the way he used to I do something. He used to give that Freddie Mercury one, you know. He <laughs> died. There's no doubt about that. Hey, did you ever see that one when he done Rod? Uh, was it Rod Stewart with a big ass? Yeah, and he used to, and he was singing. Do you think I'm sexy in the bump head? Yeah, that's the fun. <laughs> Eventually, that was funny, wasn't it? He ended up flying out to the sky. <laughs> hey, brilliant. That was funny, you know. Funny days, mate. Funny days. So what's happening? Staying in tonight? 
We've just had a pizza. Me and the girls. Dawn's out today, so me and the no. girls. Me and the girls are chilling out. They're, they're busy fighting on the ground here while I'm on the front. I've got a pair of shorts on and a pair of trainers in you. I've got the old. I've got no trainers on. Just got me shorts on. Mate, got a top on. I'm sitting chilling out. What? Just like a nice t-shirt. Yeah, I'm gonna have some Magnum ice cream, white Magnum ice cream, mm. and a oh, chocolate nice. cookie, Charlie. <laughs> and I've got Hi. the. Uh, here's Izzy. Uh, Izzy. Hi. You got a piece of art coming to you. You better pick it up, Monday. Sent you a piece of art. Ooh. Yeah. A masterpiece. If I say so myself, a masterpiece. But it is. It is. Yeah, she says she bet it. She bet it is. She's looking forward and to getting it. It's not me that done that one. It's it's the, the old fella, Charlie Brunson. <laughs> You got your postcard as well, didn't you, Izzy? Yeah. Oh, did you get the postcard? Yep. Do I see a senorito? Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's a bit subdued with the sun today. And oh, she's been it. And she's been having a roll around with Rebecca. She's having a fight oh, with her. She's having a fight with her older sister at the minute. They're winding each other up, putting the dukes up and having a bit of a fisty cuffs. <laughs> Well, all I can say is enjoy the Magnums and I'll catch you later, brother. Yep, yeah, and you, mate. Take care. Have a good day. Take enjoy. Care, me. I'll try to take care now, Izzy. Cheers, Izzy. Bye. 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 Bye.